Hello guys, here's a new Blender 2.82 hard surface sculpting video in which I use my free fast carve add-on for boolean operations in sculpt mode. I start again with the default cube and scale it in edit mode by pressing the S key followed by Z. Then I scale up the mesh again and after that I press Ctrl and the R key to add some edge loops. I switch to face selection and select these faces on the left and the right side. And then to inset the faces, I press the I key. Ok, I want to move these faces to the outside, so I select the Extrude Individual tool. And then I press the left mouse button and move the mouse to Extrude to the outside. Alright, and what we have now is the base mesh. And the goal is to turn it into this. A high poly, hard surface mesh. Ok, but before I increase the resolution, I select a nice matte cap from the viewport shading panel. For example, this one looks nice. Then I open the new voxel remesher and set the voxel size to a value like 0.005. This size will give us a quite dense mesh for sculpting. I also enable smooth normals and press remesh. Now the object looks quite the same, but when you enable the wireframe in the viewport overlays, you can see that we have a very dense mesh here. Ok, I disabled this again and the first thing that I like to add is a kind of bend part in the middle. So I snap the view and press the B key to activate the box mask in sculpt mode to mask this part here in the middle of the mesh. After that, to create a smooth mask, I open the mask menu and select smooth mask a few times. Ok, once more. That's enough and then I press Ctrl and the I key to invert the mask. And now I can use the move brush to move the part that is unmasked a bit upwards along the Z axis. Ok, we have some small artifacts here at these round parts. But we can use the smooth filter type of the mesh filter to smooth out these parts. First I add a mask again in the middle and then press Ctrl and I to invert it so that the smoothing of the mesh filter is applied only to these areas. So I choose smooth here for the mesh filter and just drag to the right in order to smooth these parts. Ok, now I want to add some insets to the parts on the left and the right side. So I snap the view again to autographic and add a box mask. Oh, but I see I forgot to enable the y-axis symmetry because I want to have the mask on the other side as well. So I enable this here in the toolbar and add the mask again. Ok, that's better and then I invert the mask again by pressing Ctrl and the I key and choose the mesh filter inflate to increase the size of these parts. Great, now press Ctrl and M to get rid of the mask and remesh again to sharpen the geometry at the edges. Ok, nice, and now I want to cut into the object and for this I use my free add-on Fast Carve. You find the link in the description below and you can use the primitives to cut into the mesh in sculpt mode now as well. The add-on is installed, I press N to open the sidebar and select the Fast Carve panel and first you have to set the target to the mesh which is called Cube and that disables snapping to the grid and to the target. 
Then I press this button to enter the primitive mode and when you press the P key you can change the primitive. What I need as a primitive is the circle and I want to cut into the mesh so I press the M key to change to difference. Ok, then let's draw a circle by pressing Ctrl and left click and you can adjust the size by moving the mouse and I recommend to increase the number of segments by moving the mouse wheel. I set this to 80 and left click to apply the shape and then I press the G key to move this to the position where I want to cut into the object. Alright, to cut you press Ctrl and left click and that's it, a boolean operation done in sculpt mode. Ok, the next cut I press G followed by Y to constrain the movement and reuse the circle for the next boolean operation. And again for the parts on the right side, G and X to move it to this part to cut into the mesh. Again you do the cut by pressing Ctrl and left click. And the last cut at this position. Ok, looks pretty good, I press the escape key to exit the primitive mode of fast carve and then I remesh again using the voxel remesher. Alright, I want to do another cut at this location here, so I open again the primitive mode. You can press Ctrl, Shift and P to do this, but this time I need a different primitive, I need a rectangle, so I press the P key to change the primitive type and then I draw this rectangle, press G to center it and then I cut into the mesh by pressing Ctrl and left click. On the other side I want to do the same operation, so I press G followed by Y to constrain to the Y axis and again cut into the object. Ok, at the top of the object I want to add another indentation and again I use the rectangle for this difference boolean. And as you can see we stay in sculpt mode while executing these booleans and this is possible because the fast carve add-on is changing to object mode in the background, you just don't see it. I hope that Pablo de Barro is coming up with the new cutters soon, then these features will be supported as native code in sculpt mode. Alright, I executed a remesh and I'm quite happy with the result. Perhaps we can add one more detail at the edges, so I press the B key again to open the box mask and add a small mask with symmetry enabled then invert it again and use the mesh filter to inflate it to the inside, which is actually deflating. Ok, like so and then I press Alt and M to remove the mask and do a last remesh. So pretty nice, I hope you like the result. This is now a very high poly hard surface mesh, so you can't use this directly as a game asset. If you want to do this you have to retopo this, you have to use retopology. If you're interested in this let me know and I will create a short tutorial. So guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like it, follow me on my Instagram and on Twitter or Facebook. And if you'd like to support me then think about being my patron, this would really help a lot. Thanks in advance and I see you in the next one.